it go. Okay, all of you phones on silent, preferably switch it off. Go ahead, that's start. Nice that's it. It's yeah, all done. I, I want this also. <laughs> okay, okay. Recording? Hello and welcome to yet another episode of Digital India Podcast and you are listening to weekly updates from staff and students of Web Marketing Academy and I am your host Mansi. This show gives you the latest update in the digital marketing world. Today is the 3rd of June and we are giving you updates of the last 7 days. Before we start our show today, I want to thank all our listeners. Thanks a ton for those 800 plus downloads. The response has been overwhelming and that kind of puts us on our toes and makes us a lot more responsible. Thanks again for that huge response. Um, if you or your company has some of the latest updates in the digital marketing industry, you could email us the update and we are happy to help you by putting it up here. You could also participate in our show to give out interesting stories, tools and tips. If you have a product, you could talk to our audience about your product too on Digital India Podcast. For those of you who are listening to us, you can leave a comment in the comment section below and you could connect with us on Facebook as Web Marketing Academy, on Twitter as WMA India and you could get in touch with me personally on M-A-N-A-S-I, that's Mansi on webmarketingacademy.in. Here are the major so take two on that. <coughs> Here are the major stories for the, sorry, take three on that. Here are the major headlines for the last seven days. Twitter introduces audience insights. That means that advertisers can now check out who is looking at their organic tweets and are they actually reaching the right audience. The second story for today is launch of Periscope for Android. Finally, yes, we have it, but then remember it's not for all the versions. Sorry. Uh, take two on that. Remember, it's not for all the versions, so stay tuned and we will let you know how many of you Android users out there can use Periscope. The third story for today is boutique shopping going digital with Shoptiqs and Yelp coming together on Yelp platform. Okay, by the way, that is only for the US audience. The fourth story for today is Kishore Biani from Future Group, he is talking about e-commerce models and he says it is definitely going to change in the next one year. So stay tuned and find out what is the model going to be changed to. And the fifth story for today is Google announcing a new feature called Now on Tap. Oh yes, it's a very interesting feature. Stay tuned and we will get you the complete details on that. But before we start, we have in our studio today Divya. Hi Divya. Hello Mansi. Welcome to the show. Okay, what tip do you have for our audience today? Uh, today I'm going to talk about budget optimization. Mm -hmm. uh, it's created by Marine Software. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a new tool that enables paid search advertisers to make sm smarter budget decisions from an easy interface. Uh, the key features are uh, spend forecasting, scenario planning, one click optimization, and quick take action. With this, we can get a clear insight at how the budget impacts ROI as we turn on the investment. Awesome. So basically, for all those marketers who are spending huge, huge budgets and kind of finding it very difficult to optimize it for campaign-wise, they could use this. this. This is for search alone, right? Yes. Awesome. Thank you so much, Zivya. Thank you so much. And yes, we also have with us Denzel in our studio. Welcome to the show, Denzel. Thank you, Mansi. Uh what is your tip for our audience today? Uh, I just wanted to give a tip on uh, how do we increase the speed of the page actually. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a tool called Page Speed Insights, which is by Google developers. Now this is for the page on the website, right? Yeah, it's the page okay. on the website. Okay. So probably what you do is you paste a URL on this uh, particular page. Mm -hmm. uh, it gives you the insights like you know how the how your website is performing, how the pages of your website are performing. Okay. It also shows how it performs on your mobile as well as on the desktop. So and it also gives you a scorecard, and it all, uh, one of the major advantages of using this page by uh, page speed insights is uh, that you know it also tells you how you can repair and how you can modify, as well as how you can increase the speed of the page. So basically, it's your one-stop shop for understanding how a page is performing. Yes. Excellent. Thank you so much, Denzel. And yes, we can now move on to the detailed stories for the headlines that I just mentioned. The first story for today is Twitter introducing audience insights. 
There is the official blog on Twitter that says insights about people and markets help advertisers create powerful messaging that resonates. And now these insights can easily be, take two on that. These insights can easily help discover valuable insights about people who follow you and people who have engaged with your organic tweets. It also says that you can now identify new relevant audience to target for an upcoming campaign. Wow, that makes life a lot more easier for people who are using Twitter to advertise. They also talk about providing aggregate information about user demographics, interests, purchasing behavior as well. Okay, that's a paradise for all those advertisers who are looking out for demographics, interests, and purchasing behavior on Twitter. The next story for today is Periscope going live for Android. Yes, as I mentioned, this is not for all the Android users. This is for owners using version 4.4, that's KitKat version and above. You can now download Periscope from Google Play. So what can you do with Periscope if you're asking? Yes, you can, if you have a Twitter account, by the way, you can use Periscope to start a public or a private broadcast. You can also choose to allow comments from just those who follow you and also interact with the broadcaster by chatting or sending hearts. Well, at WMA, we do a lot of periscoping. So if you're going to follow Suresh, oh, that is, by the way, at the rate Suresh Babu, S-U-R-E-S-H-B-A-B-U underscore. That's his Twitter ID. You can follow us there and you can see a lot of periscoping happening at WMA. And yes, uh, this says that you know you can send out hearts. So yes, if you feel that we're doing a good job, do send out a lot of hearts to us. And uh, in this story, the highlight is the features of Periscope that is very unique to Android. That means this is not available. Let me repeat that this is not available for any other iOS apart from Android. So Android users have granular control over additional push notifications settings. Okay, for example, um, I say that, you know, there's something called first-time broadcast notification. That means that when somebody you follow on Twitter broadcasts on Periscope for the first time, you get a notification. And there's also something called the share notification. That means that when somebody you're following shares somebody else's broadcast, you get a notification too. Periscope on Android offers you a resume notification as well. And now that is for people who are following up on Periscope. Suddenly you get a phone call or a message. You have to stop. But that's fine because you can actually get back and watch from where you left it. That is the resume notification. That's our second story for today. The next big story for today is from the US. Now, what is happening in the US is that Boutique shopping is going digital. When I say boutique, I'm talking about the small time stores which are niche and have a particular audience. What has happened is ShopTQs, that's S-H-O-P-T-I-Q-U-E-S dot com or Yelp platform have come together to offer their products in the digital world. Uh, Yelp had a blog which talks and says that our new partnership makes it so easy to follow cool local businesses like Olive and Betty in NYC or Y&I Clothing Boutique in San Francisco and find something uniquely you. With that, you can not only find the boutiques, you can also read reviews and highlights from the Yelp community for each boutique. You can also browse their inventory in a sleek shopping interface. Add in, sorry, take two on that. You can browse the inventory in a sleek shopping interface and add it to your cart. You can purchase it and it will be delivered to your doorstep. Yes, that's what shoptecues.com and Yelp are doing for their audience in the US. The next story we have is from Kishore Biani. It's been a long time since I heard from Kishore Biani. He is the CEO of Future Group. And there was an interview in Business Standard of Kishore Biani and he comments about the models that e-commerce portals are using in India right now. So he was asked the question, what do you have to stay? Take two. He was asked the question, what do you have to say about the consolidation currently in the e-commerce industry? He said, he was also asked, take two, he was also asked, do you see the business model collapsing? To which he said that there is nothing that collapses. Only thing is that the e-commerce portal will change its form and content. 
Now, the reason he quotes for this change in model is that he says, there are a lot of tactics being employed for things other than the real business. I will not elaborate on this, but it is happening. Whoa, he is really uh, hitting them on the head. You have to understand that e-commerce business model only works if you have growth. That is month-on-month -month growth and it has now stopped. He also says that the day you reduce discounts on these e-commerce portals, your sales drop by close to about 40 to 50 percent. So this model has to survive on its own in some form. It will be reinvented, it will emerge and find its own space. Well, those were the words from Kishore Diani, who is the CEO of Future Group. If you want to see more of that interview on Business Standard, check out the links on our show notes and there's a link which leads you to Business Standard. The next story and the major story for today is from Bloomberg, which is talking about Google announcing a new feature called Now on Tap. Now, this is controlled by your home button. It's basically a plugin and it's a layer that essentially hovers over any app running on your phone or your tablet. This means that you can get contextual search information around almost anything that you are doing. And the best part of this is that the developers don't have to make any changes to their existing software to allow the new service. Now, um, it, it's called as Now on Tap to bring search and context into the user's view. For example, while listening to music on Spotify, you can search for more info on the artists across the entire web. Or if you're talking about a restaurant with a friend on WhatsApp, Google can pull up data on the place that's the restaurant and even help you make reservations at that restaurant. So how cool is that? You're doing something and Google is going to help you enhance that experience for you. Those were the top stories for today and before we wind up, we have with us Arjun in the studio who's going to give us some little tip. Welcome to the show Arjun. Hi Arjun. Hey, so what is your tip for our audience today? Well, today I'm talking about updation in Google Voice Search. Mm -hmm. Google recently innovated a creative method to enhance digital marketing. Mm -hmm. Google is helping consumers by providing more natural form of interaction with technology. Google, with its OK Google Voice Search app, has integrated voice search calls to action into outdoor media activity. Wow, so they're bringing both the things together. Yes. Awesome. The benefit is it is mobile-centric, which means you can target high-income market. Excellent. Wow, that's cool. So it, it's like a welcome thing for all the advertisers today. Twitter insights and now Google rolling out this new exactly. future. Awesome, awesome. Um, and we also have with us Minna to be in the studio. Welcome to the show, Minakshi. Thank you so much, Nancy. Hi, guys. Um, I'm going to give you a very simple and basic casual tip, which is to be a digital consultant. So a few of the things uh, handy, which you need to keep in handy uh, for being a marketing digital consultant would be, first and foremost, you need to have your website. Uh, I would suggest that you have your contact details on every page of yours. It makes it easier for your clients or for your uh, future clients to get in touch with you and uh, have a rate card ready which is according to the industry standards and the last and the most is basically make sure that all of that work that you do is according to industries and you give them the right strategies which suits the industry and do not bombard them with every services that's required and uh, the services which you need to you obviously need to mention all the services that would be SEO, PPC, social media uh, they're on, but just make sure you send this to the right medium or platform for this business to be a success. Awesome! Well, um, if we have to read between the lines on Minakshi's tip of becoming an independent digital marketing consultant, it just says a lot on a lot of future steps that she is going to take after the course. Okay, we will get back to that and before that we have with us Suresh, our newsletter which gives you every update for the entire week or entire month. So go to Scott Monty, that is S-C-O-T-T, Scott, S-C-O-T-T, M-O-N-T-Y. So he's well known in the social media space. He used to be a evangelist for Ford Motors. So subscribe to his newsletter, that is number one. Another newsletter is Chris Brogan, Chris Brogan newsletter. Chris C H R I S B R O G A N. So that's 
my announcement, I would say. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Those newsletters. Basically, news that you're interested in is in your email before the world knows about it. Those were the tips from Suresh Babu, CEO, founder of Web Marketing Academy. For those of you who are listening to us, you can leave a comment in the comment section below. And you could also connect with us on Facebook as Web Marketing Academy, on Twitter as WMA India, and you could personally get in touch with me on mansi at webmarketingacademy.in. And before we wind up the show, I want a quick tip from all the five people present here. Yes, Divya, what is your quick tip for our audience? How you could optimize your image on your website. Mm -hmm. Two things that you need to do mainly. One mm -hmm. is the alt tag, which is uh, nothing but uh, I would suggest write your long tail, uh, appropriate relevant keyword, and uh, relevant description. Excellent. Two tips. Okay. Denzel, what about you? Uh, I can talk about uh, how do you optimize the videos. Uh, probably, supposedly, uh, on YouTube, we can create channels. Uh, if somebody likes cooking and he wants to uh, take up a channel actually uh, wherein they talk about more of cooking. So uh, one thing you can do is like you know come up with long tail keywords. Supposedly for example let's take up uh, how to cook chicken. So that would be the long tail keyword which we would be using like uh, if that's the video which we is uploading. So. Right. So you're talking about long tail keywords being used as descriptive content in the URL structure and in the headline which is going to optimize the videos. Fantastic. Also, to please remember, those who want a YouTube channel, you could either create it there or if you have a G Plus account, that means that you also have a YouTube channel. Okay, yes, Arjun, what is your tip for our audience today? Mansi, I'm going to talk about how to optimize your PPT. Mm -hmm. For PPT, you need to upload your PPTs in a tool called SlideShare. Uh -huh. And you can optimize your PPTs by using a proper heading, using appropriate keywords, either long tail or short tail, mm -hmm. and with a relevant description. Awesome, so that was images, videos, and PPT being optimized. Yes, Minakshi, you're just eyeing me on, you know. <laughs> what is it that you want to talk about? Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay, I just want to talk about the same being an entrepreneur. I just want to say that for anybody who's looking out to be an entrepreneur in the digital space, uh, just make sure you don't run behind the money. Understand the brand, understand the industry. Uh, get attached to it, work with it. Actually, it's a lot of entrepreneur talk and <laughs> independent digital marketing consultant talk <laughs> happening today. Yes, yeah. we'll get back to this uh, in a couple of episodes to come. All right, this is your host, Mansi, signing out with a bye bye, moving on to the next show. You could catch us same time next week for weekly updates. That's Wednesday. Every Wednesday, we're coming up with weekly updates in the digital marketing world. You could please write to us if you have feedback. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Good. Awesome! <laughs> <laughs>